Our Europe correspondent Siobhan Robbins joins me now. And Siobhan, this developing line that the ship, or the boat I should say, uh, belonged to the tech tycoon Mike Lynch, who is well storied. In fact, he fought and won uh, a legal case in the US only recently before being uh, allowed to come back to the UK. Yes, Matt, as you say, this is news that's just coming in, but uh, multiple news agencies are now reporting that Mike Lynch, a tech tycoon, was the owner of that luxury yacht which has sunk off the coast of Sicily after being hit by extreme weather in the early hours of the morning. And they're not just saying that he owned it, they are reporting that he is among the missing. We are still waiting for official verification of that. What we have been told is that uh, in the early hours of this morning there was this extreme weather which hit the northeast coast of Sicily and particularly off the coast of Porticello. Uh, this is where this yacht was moored, a 56 metre yacht with 22 people on board, 10 of them crew, 12 of them passengers from various countries. And we understand that According to some eyewitnesses, there was actually a tornado. You heard from that fisherman just before I started talking to you. He described seeing a tornado and said that they actually were pushed back towards the pier. There was a lot of destruction on the pier. When that weather calmed down, they headed out to sea, but all they could see in the water were the remains of a yacht. Now, the Coast Guard has said, actually, that yacht has sunk to around 50 metres below the water. 15 people did manage to get off, uh, among them a mother and a one-year-old baby. They've been uh, treated uh, by medics. At least eight people are in hospital. But speaking to locals, the trauma of those who have escaped this alive is extensive because it was the middle of the night. They were on board from what we hear from eyewitnesses, this storm hit really without warning. It was extremely severe. Some saying they'd never seen anything like it. And so not only did they have to escape from the boat in the dark, uh, but also the initial part of that search and rescue mission will have happened in the dark as well. And the Coast Guard saying that initially it was local vessel that went out, then four of their Coast Guard boats went out as well to carry on the search. They've got a helicopter there. They've got specialist divers. Initially, there were seven people missing. They've now confirmed that one man has uh, been confirmed dead. Still six people missing, among them, uh, we believe, British, Americans and a Canadian. But as you were reporting, the latest information we're getting is that possibly one of those among the missing is this tech tycoon, Mike Lynch, who, as you were saying, um, had only been in the headlines very recently after being cleared over this high-profile court case. He had been cleared of all the charges um, by a US jury related to the sale of his software company Autonomy to Hewlett-Packard uh, in 2011. He grew up in Ilford, a self-made man, the son uh, of Irish immigrants, a really big name in the tech world. Uh, but today we understand that his yacht, the yacht that his family owned, uh, has sunk and that he is missing. Yeah, the yacht, uh, I think called Bayesian, is said to be award-winning for its design and, uh, and looking online, really well appointed, very much a, a luxury vessel. But this time of year, in the Mediterranean is busy for yachting. And I think, I'm right in saying in Siobhan, that it was moored outside the harbour. It's not unusual for harbours to be full at this time of year. People race to get in them when there's bad weather, but the yacht was anchored up on the outside of the harbour wall. We're still getting all of the information coming in, but certainly what we're hearing from officials is that it was near to the land. This wasn't way out to sea when the storm hit. And I think that's what surprised so many people, that it has been struck in such, such an intense way that it has actually sunk, not just, you know, sort of partly capsized. It's under the water, according to divers, and it's specialist divers which are now going down to search among that wreck to see if there are bodies of people who've been trapped on board there or uh, if, in fact, they get clues to suggest that maybe people have managed to escape, haven't got to land, but could still be in the water. So that's why this search and rescue is still going on. Mm. Jamal, thank you very much indeed for the time being.